Hello guys and welcome to my first Johnson Controls Niagara Base Tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to connect to this brand new out of the box Facility Explorer FX80 Js. Oh those were just so many words. Ok first of all let's apply 24 volts AC or DC to your FX which by the way polarity doesn't matter per manual instructions. And let's use a CAT5 and make a straight connection from the primary port to your laptop. Ok so I'm using Johnson Controls Facility Explorer Workbench Pro 14.7.2 version. Now let's make sure our network is configured correctly so we can connect to our J's. Looking at the manual we can find that the J's default IP address is 192.168.1.149. And right now I am using Windows 10, so I'll go down to this network icon, right click, open network, and then I'll go to Ethernet, then change adapter options and look for my primary Ethernet network. And go to properties, and then I'll pick uh, Internet Protocol version 4, properties, use a manual IP, so I'll type a similar IP address, which with that 10 at the end, 255, 255, 255, which is standard, and click OK, close, and close. Now let's try to ping the FX to make sure we're communicating with it. So let's open the run app and type CMD to bring up the command prompt. And let's type the word ping, space, and the J's IP address, and then hit enter. And if it replies, it means that we are good. And if not, something is wrong. And it's good, so let's go back to Workbench. And let's try to open the J's by opening its station. Open station, then type its IP address, standard connection, standard port, and click OK. Wait, and we can see it. Now let's type its default credentials, which username is admin, and password facility explorer with a zero in the explorer word and then click OK. OK. Oh, and then we can see that there's a login error. And I'm doing this on purpose so I can show you all the different ways not to do it until we get it right. So let's open a web browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome and we'll type the IP address and then type the admin credentials. hit enter or click login and we get another error but this time notice that the web browser actually t is telling us what the error is so basically that we need to be over a secure connection so going back to workbench let's try that open a station and let's select a TLS connection which is a secure connection type the IP address and the port automatically changes to 4911 which is secure click OK and wait you will get this window and just go ahead and accept. And by this time you should have memorized your default station credentials, so put them in one more time. You don't have to check remember these credentials, it's just a habit that I have and click OK. And it seems that we're getting somewhere, so now forget about what you just memorized and type your brand new password. and click OK. And another error? Well, this is another incorrect way of doing it. And I don't know why it doesn't work since we are actually doing it from Workbench. But you will be stuck here in a loop wondering what's going on. So if you have an input on this or you know what's going on, please comment below and let us know. We would love to hear from you. So the recommended instructions are to use a web browser with a secure connection. So going back to Chrome, notice that our site is not secure, so we gotta make it secure. So we just type HTTPS and S stands for sec secure, column a forward slash forward slash and the IP address and then hit enter. And sometimes you don't get it right with Chrome, so you gotta make sure you enable the warnings and do it again, enter. And this is the screen that you wanna see. So now you want to go to advanced and click proceed to your IP address. Just go ahead and click. And once more, 
Yeah, I lied to you. You have to type your password one last time. Click login. And now you can create your own password. And it seems that you don't need a complex password as it shows that you need zero special characters. So that's interesting. And it finally works. Now we need to get the platform default credentials and default passphrase. So the default platform user is JCI lowercase, password explorer lowercase. And the passphrase password is just explorer lowercase. And finally, let's create new platform credentials and a new platform passphrase. And we got a passphrase error. It wasn't strong enough. Basically, we need a strong password for both the platform credentials and passphrase. Not complex. That means at least one lowercase, one capital letter, one number, and probably 10 characters long, but no special character. That's why it's not considered complex. Click update and wait. And finally, we are in. Easy enough. Now coming back to Workbench, let's see if our new credentials work. Let's start with the station and we're using a secure station. So let's put the password in and then click OK. And it works. Now let's try the same for our platform. And we get an error. And I'm not sure what it is, but it's an opportunity for another tutorial. So that was a secure connection. Let's try an unsecure one. Let's right click on the IP address, open platform and change that to platform connection, regular connection, click OK. Type our new credentials, which it was administrator and our new password. And click OK. And we get a login error. And that's because my username is case sensitive. So I know that my administrator has the capital A at the beginning. So let's change that and try it again. And this is for the platform only. The station username is not case sensitive. So let's give it a try. Okay. And there you go. We are connected to the platform as well. All right, so this is the end of this video tutorial. I hope this was useful to you. And if so, please consider subscribing to my channel. That really helps me out. I will be posting videos at least once a week on Metasys, controller configuration tool, FX Workbench, to name a few. Please hit the thumbs up if you like it and the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Also, please comment below if you would like me to create a video tutorial on a specific topic. Thank you very much.